Hi everybody, I haven't really covered Zelda Breath of the Wild yet. I want to do something very special for this actual game because I feel that even the trailers and the live gameplay coming out of Nintendo is something that should be celebrated. Uh, so I want to tell you that Zelda Breath of the Wild actually has at least to some degree voice acting in it. Um, I'm not going to say that it's all the characters. I'm not going to say that it's all the dialect. As you've seen in the trailers and no doubt general gameplay, there doesn't seem to be um, a majority of this that I can tell. But at least in some level, it is being said that Breath of the Wild is allowing there to be a voice acting part, whether it be in the videos or the cinematics or the live gameplay, I'm not familiar with. But I wanted to go into this because somebody told me this and I thought, well, this is a good thing to put up. So, voice acting in Breath of the Wild meant to leave impressions linked to remain voiceless. Uh, as you know, basically, the Zelda fan base is caught completely off guard by the E3's trailer of this uh, game. Basically starting off saying, open your eyes, revealing a new game will feature voice acting. Radical departure from the series convention, which obviously all the Zelda fans know. Uh, Link and most of the other characters, besides squeaking and squawking and general noises, have no actual language and or no actual voice, although it's usually dubbed in the native language. So basically some fans question the intentions behind the new feature and consider the impact it will have on the game. But um, E.G. Anuma recently spoke to Polygon to discuss voice acting and other new features in the Breath of the Wild stating that spoken voices will help to leave an impression on users. So I wondered exactly how big of a deal this was and for me personally as a diehard or an almost absolute diehard Zelda fan I really wondered about this and basically Breath of the Wild will be the first main series Zelda game to feature true voice acting with characters to speak more than a few short words or speak in a fictitious language. However, the game will not be fully voice acted, which I said and I predicted because I hadn't read this before, as only particular characters will speak during very specific moments in the game. My guess, cinematics, and like right before you fight bosses and various other things that are theatric in nature. That would be my guess. So anyways, E.G. Anoma explained that poly through Polygon that Breath of the Wild's approaching voice acting. It's really difficult to leave an impression on players with just text. It's not that I made everything voiced but I have these moments where I want to leave impressions on users. I added voice there. According to the interview, Noma uh, shared about the moment he first heard an actual human voice in the Zelda game. The moment, quote unquote, touched his heart and was really striking emotions, a feeling he would like to convey to the players. One very, or I'm sorry, one worry that some fans may have is that the series protagonist Link will be voice acted in Breath of the Wild. However, Noma relieved these concerns by confirming that Link still remains voiceless. He went on to explain his reasoning. If Link said something that the user doesn't agree with, the relationship between the user and and Link would be lost. That's why I chosen not to go the, with that. So, as you can see here, folks, the idea that the protagonist is actually quite elaborate that they continue to not allow Link a voice. Because one, 
We don't exactly want him to have an overly masculine voice. We don't want him to have an overly feminine voice. You know, he is supposed to be a youth at times and an adult in others. And, you know, depending on if it's animated or um, animated, I, I meant more along the lines of like Wind Waker. That would be what I consider animated. First, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, which I consider a little bit less animated uh, gameplay and a little bit more of a realistic approach to the pixelation to something that would be, you know, um, I don't know, pick your title if you want, reality gameplay, something with really good video quality that seems very realistic. Um, and I'm very happy to see that Link has remained uh, with no voice. And somebody brought something to my attention, and they said, you know, it's kind of sad, really, when you think about Link's actual mission in the games. I said, well, what do you mean? They said, well, think about it. With everything going on in the world and everybody treating, you know, those with disabilities and stuff differently and those persons who have, you know, hard family times and this or that, what they actually do to Link is they take an orphan who basically almost nobody really accepts they send him on a difficult quest to basically earn his rank in the society. Basically getting him killed time after time after time again just to be reborn into a new life where he can be reused as fodder. And, they, and basically the idea is that sooner or later when these games are made, Link is going to end up being a, a bad guy and you're going to have to be able to play as Ganon growing up or something like that and it's going to actually be quite interesting I said you know what that's actually that is actually interesting because it's almost like they're tossing Link to the wolves to go and do a whole bunch of tasks that none of the soldiers none of the other people even can or will even fulfill and here's this kid that from the age of about 8 to about the age of about 22 you know lifetime after lifetime keeps guarding this one area with the hopes that the area is going to accept him when in the end he just ends up almost dying trying to gain acceptance and eventually he's going to turn on him and I said you know what that's actually a, that would make a good game you know uh, you know uh, a good title for that would be you know Legend of Zelda you know, Link's Backlash. And, you know, basically, you either play as Hylian Soldier, where you pick your own gear, your own looks, etc. Um, you play as Ganondorf once you beat it, or you play as a Sheikah, or something like that. And then basically, your idea is that in this lifetime, Link has decided to go out of his way, kill Ganon and Ganondorf, and instead of, or at least to some degree, take over that role before Ganon or Ganondorf can get there, and basically stops him, imprisons him instead of imprisoning Zelda. And then basically that would be where you start from. And I thought, wow, that would actually make an amazing Zelda game. Hint, hint, nod, nod. Thanks.